Hey everybody, Garrett McCouchy's coming back again for the grand finale of this three-part showcase with Destruction Derby Raw. Alright, we're moving on to battle mode. And doing at least one round of each of the four modes. Start out with Assault. And unlike the, uh, the regular races in Assault mode, I didn't know this for the longest time, but how it works is you have the uh, the regular racers, and you also have these uh, these armored trucks, the uh, the Humvees. They're indestructible, but how it works is keeping them in the race, keeping them doing well, and keeping the enemy cars at bay, and also attacking their teammate. So yeah, basically the uh, the Humvees they're on your side. And a long time ago, when I reviewed this, I wish I could have known that. So yeah, basically a team battle. All right, let's try 10 laps at the stadium. All right, I mean, I want something. Let's see here. I think I like the Colorado. All right, let's try this. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, sorry it took so long to get around to this, but hey, I'm here now. All right. All right, which one's on my side? All right. There you go. There, there he is. Whoopsie, whoopsie. <laughs> I always wondered why why they had the same numbers. Well, now I know. Had to deep, had to dig into the manual for that one. All right. And for carnage, what that does, that ups the damage. All right, get these guys out of the way. Uh, question is, how long am I going to last? Alright, where is he? Maybe looping back around was a mistake. Alright, nice. Nice job. Okay, keep that guy away. <laughs> oh man, if they had these kinds of races in real life. If, if you've ever seen this kind of race where it's basically a team battle, let me know in the comments. It, stay on the wall. You stay down here. Uh, now that I know it, it's pretty cool once you know how to play it. All right, three laps to go. 
I might have to come back to this more often. But yeah, it just goes to show you how far Destruction Derby came from its first game. Even the second one, for that matter. Holy cow, that car just wrecked. Gonna be close. Hmm. Hmm. Well, not bad for the first time. It's actually yeah, pretty close between between second and third. Yeah, still pretty cool. All right. Now on to the next round. All right, on to round two with Skyscraper. Might do a couple of rounds of this. Get three, uh, three arenas to choose from with high pressure, down and out, and vertigo. Start out with this one. See, I don't want the razor back. That one doesn't turn very well. Ricochet now. Yeah, oddly enough, I think it's previously mentioned. Uh, yeah, they got the supernova and. Uh, the stinger bodies backwards in game, so yeah, there is that. All right, Supernova, let's see what you got. All right, so in skyscraper mode, not only do you smash up your opponents per usual. But the key is to stay on the roof and to knock your opponents off it. You can. Whoa! Ah! All right, let's try again. Okay. Man, has this ever happened in real life? Oh, come on, I knocked that guy off. I knocked at least one of them. But oh, whatever. Still not doing too bad, whoa. Ha <laughs> ha Two in a row. But uh, once it's just down to you in the last car, it's very down to the wire. Oh, he's back up again. That's something that wouldn't happen in Destruction Derby 2. Once they're flipped over, that's it, pretty much. Unless they get knocked back over. Oh, 
Let's say they fall off. No, nope, not yet. All right. Oh, I wrecked him. And I got second place. Cool. Yeah, that was a little bit of a skyscraper mode. Now on to pass the bomb. High score. Now, as its name implies, yeah, what you want to do is basically it's basically hot potato, and uh, with a timer. Docklands, that's one I don't play too often. Right. In Colorado, another go. Alright, two bombs. That's the, uh, I think it's the middle amount, so this ought to be interesting. And how you how you pass it, you hit it to the other car. for spinning anybody out. Whoa, come on, come on, where are you? No, you just get points for uh, getting it away quickly, I see. No! I'm just about wrecked. Come on. Get away from me, guys. Uh oh. Come on, no. Oh man. Oh, I still got fourth. So yeah, that's a little quickie of past the bomb. Now on to the grand finale with the classic destruction derby. Alright, do classic mode. And how it works. Well, this one's pretty straightforward. You get points for spinning them out banging them around and whatnot and um, unlike the the previous games the other uh, health system works different you get damage no matter where you, where your car hits it's basically a grand total how it worked in the old days is if your front end was about to go you'd want to you'd want to hit him with your with the back of your car you can't do that here Let's see, Armageddon, it's basically Destruction Derby on a timer. And uh, let's see, Vampire. Alright, so in Vampire mode, you get points by taking them from other cars. Interesting. But, uh,. Let's see. Go to the classic at Killing Field. Alright, let's get ready for a bruising. An indented football field.
All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Yeah, I don't think the tactics from the first two games were in the final final minutes of the fight. You hit him with the backside. I don't think that's going to work anymore. Once you get hit, that's it goes to your total damage, no matter where it happens. Well, I'm doing pretty good so far. damage. Flatliner. recommend doing that. You'll just join the graveyard faster. <laughs> oh, fourth place. All right. Yeah, you like what you see? This is a great game to get into if you like destruct the destruction and demolition derby genre. In the car combat. Right up there with classics like Demolition Racer and I think Carmageddon was another one. Yeah, too bad, Destruction Derby. It might have ended about 20 years ago in 2004 with Destruction Derby arenas. But uh, nowadays it lives on in the legacy with, with Wreckfest. So yeah. Great game, great classic. This has been Garrett McCouchy's Cummings in another showcase. Till next time, overwhelm and destroy.